Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whoever you are, whatever the time may be. Welcome back to the channel, or for the first time if you're new around here, my name is James, aka Widowed, and this is your day one guide, slash route, slash plan, what to do in the first hour or two to get yourself your first relic unlocked, or I guess second tier relic, your first area unlock outside of the default areas, and your first combat mastery done. Should be within the first hour to max, but I've got a task list set up, which you'll see over beneath me here, down in the bottom corner. This first section is just passively acquired tasks, so rather than putting them in a list at a specific point, I don't know exactly when you're going to hit level 10 in a skill, it's just easier for me to group these at the top and assume that we will hit all of them over the course of doing these tasks, because we will. So don't worry about these at the top, you're just going to get them anyway, basically is the gist of it, complete the league's tutorial, open the league's menu and then the rest are just about hitting various different combat levels, and you'll get those 100 points passively along the way. If we then move on to the actual tasks, chop some logs is the first task. So there's trees here and here, there's some all around but obviously the goal is to find one right here and once you've done that task you can move on to burning them with the tinder box that's in your inventory. You'll notice I'm using graceful and I have stamina potions, that's just because there's infinite run energy in league so I'm simulating it here. Next up we're going to pickpocket a man or woman and we will actually be pickpocketing them 28 times. I will be doing it right now because time, but you will be pickpocketing 28 coin pouches and opening them all at once for another task here. That will be the first medium task of the leagues completed. Next we'll talk to Hans, he's usually walking around Lumbridge Castle, he always walks the same way around so run counterclockwise to find him most easily. Gonna ask him at our age, the fourth option there I think it was, and then we're done with that, we are gonna go kill a goblin. Really you can just talk to Hans at any point during the pickpocketing while you see him. I don't know why my goblins are tagged, but whatever. We'll go to whack that with the drum and stuff, that is gonna be your highest DPS, just to use a drum and stuff. Probably want to put it on defensive and make sure you pick up the bones and bury them for the next task, bury some bones. We're going to go into the axe shop and talk to Bob and ask him to give us a quest. That is another task done. Then we will go to the Lumbridge altar and pray here. You may have to drain a prayer point by activating a prayer and just waiting for a prayer point to drain. If it doesn't work just by clicking it, then we are done with that. We will go to the graveyard and use our dance emote for another task. And then we'll head down into Death's Domain, speak to him if a task hasn't already popped up by that point, before heading south to catch ourselves some shrimp. Catching a shrimp is a task, and you're actually going to keep going until you hit level 5 fishing, which is going to take roughly 8 shrimps. Once you've got level 5 fishing, which you'll need in a short while, we're going to go and hit this copper, and then we'll hit the tin 5 times for another task, but drop in 4 of them, because we want to save the invent space. I'll just mine the one here. On your way to the shed, kill a frog. And then enter Zenaris for another task. In Zenaris, you want to head over to the furnace up here. Smell your bronze bar with the tin that you kept and the copper. And then feel free to stop at the bank to dump some stuff. I'm just going to stop to grab 10k cash to simulate stronghold of security. Once you've banked anything you don't need, because you've probably got a bunch of stuff that you start off with in your inventory that you don't particularly want to get rid of, head over to the fairy ring and head to CKR. That is going to be another task for using a fairy ring, and it'll take us right where we want to go for the next task, which is to catch a Karambwanji. This is why you needed the level 5 fishing from earlier. And once you've caught your Karambwanji, you can head into Shiloh Village. Once you've entered Shiloh Village, head up the ladder just here to see Duradel. And if you need to, if you didn't get the Animal Wrangler, you can grab yourself a fishing rod and some bait. You'll want that later to get yourself a sardine for Gertrude's cat. Grab an assignment from Duradel, you'll only get low level assignments if you get one right away, so you'd prefer to have one. 
and then trade him and buy an enchanted gem. Check your task. Whether or not you did get one, it will work, and you'll get this task completion. Checking your slayer task on a gem. After that, we're going to run west here to the general store, trade Obli and buy ourselves an unlit torch, a cooked meat, and then we will light the torch for another task completion. Over the bridge, and up here we have the inn where we can talk to Caleb and buy a night's rest to get access to the dormitory for a night. And then we can go up this ladder here, which will complete another task for staying the night in Shiloh Village. I would have thought they had like a blackout thing or something, but they don't. You just come up here. I guess that's enough. From there, you want a home telly. I already used mine recently, so I'm just gonna normal telly. Kick a spider to death is the next task. You can also kill a rat at any point that you see one. I saw one just here. I'll go there, kill it. And then I'll head down here to kill one of the spiders. You also want to make a quick pit stop at the bank. Because for this, you're going to want two buckets, pot, 6 GP for a rake. You want to bank everything else for this next section. So you will be one bucket down, but that's okay. Head outside, kill a rat if you haven't already. There's loads around the back of the castle here. And then head over to this patch. I have a magic tree here apparently, but you won't. You'll have some weeds. So we will trade faith in the new farming supplies. I didn't know they'd actually added this already. Buy a rake for 6 GP. You should still have 16 GP left, even if you bought everything that I've said so far. I've just got an extra 10k because of the stronghold that's coming up. Rake the patch for another task there. And then get yourself into the general store to get the extra bucket that you need. You can also use the tall leprechaun to store the rake so that you don't have to drop it because you will need your inventory space or sheep shearer. Head up to the wheat field and make sure you cry for another task completion and then grab some wheat so you can make yourself a pot of flour. Once you've got your pot of flour done, that's another task completion. You can go to milk the cow in the pen just here. Make sure you milk it twice, fill both buckets up. One for Cook's assistant and one for Gertrude's cat a little later. We're then going to go ahead and say hello to Fred the farmer. Grab the egg here, punch a chicken to death. Specifically punch, so you will have to unequip if you've kept your German staff. Then head inside, grab the shears. And talk to Fred to start off Sheep Shearer. Once you got the quest started, head into his back garden real quick. Could have also done this just slightly earlier when you were running past. Might have been slightly more efficient. And eat a raw onion for another task completion. Then we are going to go and get 24 wool. So your invent won't have a stamina potion here. And in order to fit all 24... You won't have stamina or cash, so imagine these are both wool, then your invent's gonna look like this, and then you'll drop the shears at the end to get one more wool, thus making 24 wool, the stuff at the bottom, and you won't have any of this crap. From there, we head back into the Lumbridge Castle to commit crime and sacrilege by using the Northern Staircase. And then run it all the way to the south to spin all of our wool, all 24 of it. Nip up to the bank and you can put four wool away, just keeping 20 for now, as well as one bucket of milk. Leaving yourself with 20 wool, the ingredients for cook's assistant, this cooked meat, a shrimp and your axe. So this is what your invent will look like minus the stamina potion and the 10k. Head back down to the bottom floor and turn in Cook's assistant. Just going to drop my ingredients here. And then use the range to cook your shrimp. Hopefully successfully. If you failed, you'll have to go and get another one. But you did have two slots, so you could have brought one of the other shrimp that you fished earlier in the spare slots in case of failure. Then intentionally burn the cooked meat for another task completion there. And also cook on the Lumbridge range is a task, so that's three for two there on those. We're also going to make sure we grab this knife right here. We'll need it in just a moment. Head up to Red now to turn in Sheep Shearer. After Sheep Shearer, we're heading to this tree in the middle of this field right here. The potato tree. 
and we will chop that for another task and then fletch the logs into arrow shafts for another one. We can drop the shafts and the knife, we don't need that anymore. Moving it down into Draenor Village, you'll want to grab another four balls of wool out of the bank that you put there earlier. Go ahead and talk to Ned and get him to make you some rope. Then we're going to go into Aggie's shop and tell her she's a mad old witch and she's going to make me 20 coins poorer even though you wouldn't have had any coins in your invent. I don't know what you would lose in that scenario if you didn't have like anything basically. Next up it's our first grind of the leagues. We're going to do not just one but 10 laps of the Draenor rooftop course and hopefully acquire ourselves a mark of grace along the way during that. If you don't get a mark of grace in that time, you will have to pick up 30 points somewhere else or carry on until you get one. 30 points isn't too hard to make up. 10 laps. Pop in to see Morgan next and start Vampire Slayer. Grab yourself a garlic out of his cupboard. Before we leave Draenor, we will get a sardine. You also probably want to grab your air and mind runes from the bank, plus any claimed from the mage tutor when you spawned in course you want to train up some early mage levels on the next couple of npcs that you might have to kill up in draenor manor our only goal is to get a chair to follow us around it can happen as soon as here but it doesn't seem to be triggering you basically just have to run around until it happens there we go got one you can get out of here now and make your way around to the back Run up towards Barbarian Village and enter the long hall, grabbing a pint from the table and drinking it for another task. And then head down through the stronghold of security to grab your fancy or fighting boots. Go all the way through it, get the 10k and the boots and equip the boots for another task. I'm obviously not going to go down and go through it all, you know how to do that. From there start running east into Varrock but make sure to pick up Gertrude's cat on the way and to kill one of these level 5 goblins over here that are wielding spears. Recommend doing this with wind strike so you can level up those magics, get yourself access to the fire strike because you will need it later on. Talk to Gertrude to start the quest and grab some Dougal leaves from the back of the house and rub them on that sardine. After that we're just going to finish the run into Varrock and pet the stray dog whenever we see it. Where are you boy? There he is, the dog's there. We're going to pet the dog. Stop at the bank if you need to but that should be your tier 2 relic unlocked so you want to go into your relic interface and unlock your tier 2 relic get yourself that extra herb law thieving or agility xp and get the item with you right away from there we will head to zaf staffs grab ourselves a staff of air won't need the air runes anymore equip an elemental staff for another task and then we're going to head into the sword shop here and grab an iron dagger for another task. Equipping that. Hopefully you got some defense from the earlier kills. I did say to switch over to it when we're using the Draymond stuff. Because you're going to need it. You need level 5 defense here to equip some steel armor. Keep in mind that you have 5 times XP on everything that you're doing here. So... It's going to be a lot easier to get these levels when I say get to level 5 or whatever. That actually means spend 30 seconds doing it. <laughs> then we will have to anger the tramp. I've never done this before. I'm guessing it means Charlie. You, or is it when you tell him he needs a job or something? Yep. Anger him there. Then head into the house across from Charlie. Through the house. Pick a cabbage for another task. Go down into the rough area. And wind strike a mugger to death and speak to Aubrey. Buy any runes you want. I'd recommend getting a couple of mind rune packs and then maybe just like 50 of each of the elemental runes to start off with so that you save a bit of your cash stack. Should have grabbed a pickaxe from the bank slightly earlier, but that's okay. We can bank some of this other stuff now. Make sure you do progress Gertrude's cat by talking to the boys in the square as well. It will cost you 100 GP, but you need to do that part of the quest before you move through the city. 
And then we'll teleport to the Rune Essence Mine with Aubrey for another task. I think I actually got a bit mixed up there. I didn't do Defeat a Guard yet, but Mining an Essence is another task. And then you use the portal to leave. Then we'll go kill that guard that we forgot to do a second ago. Again, you're just going to want to use whatever your highest level magic spell is on it. Probably just a win strike, to be honest. You can safe spot them super easily over these rocks here. So just stand here and kill a guard. Once you're done with that, steal from the tea stall. Head northwards. Grab yourself a haircut from the store here. You will have to take off your hat if you're wearing one. Wow, yeah, lovely. My new hairstyle. And then head into the church. We're going to go upstairs, one floor, and talk to Elsie here. Give her this cup of tea for a story. And I'm not going to listen to it, but you are to get that task completion. Next up, talk to Marlo and start Daddy's Home. He's going to ask you to go and see his dad and do some things for him. So you're going to head down there to do that. Back down here. If you do not have any headgear at this point, which you are not likely to unless you have, like, one of the items from previous leagues, I guess, head into Asif's shop down here and grab yourself one blue wizard hat. You may also want to get a cape for later on to dye orange, though that's not in my guide. Head into Old Man Yalla's house and progress all the parts of Daddy's home here that you need to using Quest Helper. And then put your hat on the hat stand. Oh no, it falls off, but you still get a task completion. Pick up some logs here if you didn't bring your axe with you like me. Make sure you get the waxwood planks, of course. And then we are heading up towards the lumberyard, both to complete all the steps of Gertrude's cat that we needed there, and also the daddy's home steps. And while we're at it, why not throw in a task for making a plank? Once you've got everything you need from the lumberyard, leave and run to the dig site. We're going to haul ass down here, grab the panning tray, and pan for an uncut jade. I'm not going to do it right now, but you would do that until you got an uncut jade and then drop the panning tray. You can keep the jade if you want, that is entirely up to you. Then we run back up to the top to travel via barge to Fossil Island for another task. This bank won't exist yet, but you can still visit it and pet the dog for another task. I'm just going to stop at the bank and grab myself an extra stamina. At this point, you are going to run around and unlock all four of the mushroom transport systems. I'd say do this one first, grab your rake, then maybe go down to this one, teleport back to the mush, to the first one, then run to house on the hill. I guess from there, teleport back and run again. I don't know, that seems rough. Whatever way you do it, you're going to run around and activate all the mush trees for a 30 point task. Then it's time to find your way back to Varrock. I will admit, this is going to be the most running around part of the route. But we are almost done. Back into the city, you are going to go to Old Man Yalo's house and finish the rest of Daddy's home. Then go north to Marlo to actually complete Daddy's home and purchase POH for another task. At that point, we'll be running back through the city to turn in Gertrude's cat, which should get you up to level 30 as well in cooking, maybe 31, which will also complete the task for a level 30 skill. But yeah, you want to stroke your cat once you've got one from Gertrude for another task. Now that we got some cooking levels, cooking five food in a row without burning is more obtainable. If you're an animal ranger, this is also automatic. If not, I guess you'll probably want to make sure you get a few extra shrimp because you might not be able to do this one quite so easily. But you should be like 30 cooking at this point. So whatever raw shrimp you have in the bank, grab them, take them into this little cooking range here and get what you can out of them. Then we are going to use the Brimhaven teleport because that's where our house is. Obviously, you're not going to be getting here the same way. You will have a leagues menu that will allow you to teleport straight to Brimhaven. But then, once you're here, you can empty, enter your house for another task. 
build a room, you'll have a thousand coins with you, so you'll be able to build a living room and then leave. That's all you need from your POH for now. We're going up to the charter ship. Slap that rick back away if you want, now that you don't need it. And then buy whatever the hell you want from here. Head to the agility arena next and pay for your entry before going in to get yourself a ticket. Am I actually going to get lucky? That's the wrong one that I walked on, but you can tell by which planks are broken if you didn't know, but it changes. Yay, we got tickets. Head up here and kill an imp. If you've unlocked Earth Strike by this point, there is another task for killing an imp with Earth Strike specifically, or with Earth Magic specifically. Either way, kill the imp. So even if you don't have that task, you want to get the ashes and scatter them for another task. Then we're going to keep running east towards Banana Plantation. Grab yourself 11 bananas, eat one of them for a task, and then fill the crate. You may have to talk to Luthus first. Apparently I have not. And then you get paid and teleport back to Brimhaven once again with the League's menu. There are no cooldowns on them. I didn't bring mine, but I have a POH teleport, so we can just spirit tree back there. Takes you to like somewhere around here, I think. Kill a snake. There's a few around the area. One there, for example. It's another task. And then pick a pineapple. There's a pineapple plant right here. There's one there as well if you want it. If you, like me, did not bring your axe with you, because I didn't tell you to, you can just run into the pub here and grab a bronze axe from the table. Because you need one. Fingers crossed by this point you've unlocked fire magic, because you're gonna want it. Killing a moss giant without may be tough. But you've been casting spells on things for a while now. Hopefully, hopefully we've got the magic level to be able to fire blast these. You just need to chop down the vines to get in. And then you can kill your first moss giant that unlocks your first region. You'll be able to unlock your first region after doing this moss giant kill. Apparently I can't find a safe spot. Safe spot right here if you want it, fucks. Probably pick up the big bones and bury them because it's worth it. But yeah, that will get you first combat mastery point for killing a giant. It will get you your first region unlocked for 90 task completions. Assuming you did get all those passive ones that I mentioned above, but you will have. And you'll be on 1200 points. We don't know what the boundary is yet to get to your third tier relic, but I imagine you'd be within shouting distance at that point, especially with having access to a full new region. You'll be able to sweep up all the easy little tasks in that region and see yourself on to tier three. From tier three, you're going to want to go finish off Vampire Slayer. Hopefully you remembered to progress it when we were in Varrock earlier. I also recommend having done Shield of Arav by this point. I would do it personally earlier on when you unlock the tier 2 relic in Varrock. But you can leave it till later if you want and then do it. But you probably want to do Shield of Arav because that allows you to claim two lamps from Varrock Museum that give 1k and 5k respectively in skills above level 20 and level 30 respectively. So if you bury five dragon bones and lamp, you will get your protection prayers online and, and then some quite early on in the game just after hitting tier three. But you want to wait until you hit tier three before you do the vampire slayer, things like slayer tasks getting your prayer levels because at tier three your combat experience is doubled so all of these are gonna get much more benefit from waiting until you hit tier three so basically follow the guide up to this point you've got your first region unlocked then go to your new region and do all the easy tasks you can to make up the rest of the difference to tier three at that point shield of arav get your lamps from minus at the museum get your prayers online you can kill Scurrius, you can kill 10 enemies above level 100 by just water striking any dragon that you come across. Any blue dragons on the Soul of Isles dungeon, there's red dragons in here, you can do those too. Tons that you can get stuck into. Oh, Link, this is going to be so much fun. I'm hype. I'm hype. Hopefully this guide was helpful to some of y'all. Let me know in the comments if this is what you're going to be doing on day one. It's what I'm going to be doing, and then I'm going to be heading into a rush on Huey Geddon. If you want to know more about that, I'll have another video out probably tomorrow at this point going over my plan to rush day one Huey and an open invite to the community for anyone to join me in that attempt. That is going to be all for this one, though, so I will say goodbye. Don't forget to look after yourselves. Be lovely to one another. 
and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, and if you want this spreadsheet, link in the description. You can make a copy of it. It's got checkboxes in. Feel free. Feel absolutely encouraged.